Hi, uh, I will give you a quick demo of a project uh, we built for Closure Cup. It's called Decatron and it's a presentation platform uh, which supports your presentation from the first idea until the moment you gave a talk and beyond that. Right? What we have here is a couple of decks. Uh, these are mine, these are other people's. Uh, we are going to dive into that one. And the first step uh, of uh, presentation is collecting your thoughts, getting the idea, collecting your thoughts, organizing them, and we support that with an edit mode, right? So uh, right here on the website, you can uh, edit your presentation in a markdown, markdown text file. Uh, basically, uh, your presentation is a markdown text file, right? So you can you can control uh, how slides look like. You can only control this uh, text source. And this is great uh, for initial uh, structuring of your talk, for collecting ideas, for iterating, because nothing is easier than editing the text file, right? So uh, it's, uh, we choose Markdown because it doesn't get in your way of your thoughts. Uh, the next step, uh, after you get it all more or less sorted, uh, you probably start caring about how it looks like. So you have the slides generated automatically from the Markdown source. You can control the layout. Only thing you can control is which colors to use, right? So I choose uh, the ones you like. Uh, maybe this, maybe this, maybe this one. Okay, uh, you choose them, you stick with them, and you go uh, to the conference or meetup and present. Uh, we have special presenter mode uh, here, uh, basically just full screen web slides, right? But uh, there is a catch. Uh, so everything uh, you see on a Decathlon is live, real time and synchronized over the cloud. So uh, if uh, another person um, goes to the main page, he will see uh, that there is a live section with uh, talks that are given right now. Uh, so he can join. Um, go to spectate mode and he will automatically follow the current slide of the presenter here, right? And presenter and all the other people uh, see how many people are here right now watching the same presentation. If we throw in uh, the third person, we will see this counter will increase to three, uh, obviously. No, no, C person, uh, three people are watching the presentation and uh, as they advance the slides uh, are synchron current slide is synchronized to all the other people the next step uh, you gave your talk you get to the end of your slides and you want some feedback you want questions you want maybe opinions something like that uh, we have a special UI for that uh, basically any person who is watching your presentation can go uh, here and ask any question they want like that, and this is a live interface. It gets synchronized between all the persons, uh, and when the when the speaker gets to the very last slide of his presentation, he sees a special screen uh, with all the questions sorted in a likes order. So you can like, for example, uh, we want great thanks to be on the first place. So we like it here. We like it here, and. You see, the, the presenter sees that this is the most popular question. I should probably answer it first, and it, it, it kind of saves you some time because uh, you don't. Uh, when you get to the end of your talk, or like after forty minutes, you already have a bunch of questions and uh, already sorted by popularity, so you can start answering them right now. And you will probably know that you are answering the most important questions, so the questions most people in the. Uh, Auditory are interesting, interested in. Okay, it's all good, but uh, what happens after the talk? So you gave a talk, you probably, usually you should just share your slides, right? But slides not always make sense uh, on their own because uh, there's too little information on the slide. You know? So you need some comments, you need some, I don't know, uh, explanations, right? And we support that with our special read mode. Uh, in read mode, uh, it basically, all, all your slides are organized in a way that looks like a blog post on a, or an article, 
right? Uh, but you see also speaker notes or any text you put in between slides uh, in the edit mode, you can see it here. So this is slide number five and uh, there are here are speaker notes. Uh, there may be a lot of the of these notes. Uh, the notes may be the main content of your content of your article uh, and you have very few slides for example and uh, you decide how you want uh, to work with it you can start with slides give a talk and then expand the slides explain explain something and publish it or you can uh, first start with an article uh, publish it uh, and have a lot of text and then add, add some slides to it and present uh, like gave a talk with, about it and the next feature uh, is uh, spread, right? So uh, any person who watches the presentation of any other presentation on the platform, not their own, um, they have this fork this deck button and uh, if they click it, they get a copy of your presentation, uh, but under your own account, right? So you can change any, any, any way any way you want. You can change colors, of course, you can choose I don't know this one and you can present with it you can collect your own questions you can publish it uh, with your changes something like that thanks for watching bye